Hey guys, Alan Denny here. As you can see, yes, I'm in my car. For lack of a better place to record, I was going to do it in my house and um, just can't do it at the moment. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll do it outside. But as you can probably see by the reflections, it's pretty windy. I'm on a farm. It looks nice, but the weather's been uh, less than desirable here lately. It's been pretty rainy, stormy. It's sunny now, but it's still windy. So here I am in my car. This review is for Nico of the Capsaicin Cartel. You can contact him at, at the Capsaicin Cartel on Instagram. He has recently sent me a lot of really nice peppers. If you saw the one I did yesterday, he sent me a Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion that blew my head right off. It was unbelievable. It's not the first time I've done a review on one of those, but the first one was nowhere near as hot, and it's been over a year and a half ago. It wasn't that hot at all, even with my tolerance then. So, let's see how this goes today. This pepper is called the Chocolate Scorpion Apocalypse. Chocolate Scorpion Apocalypse. Such a mean, nasty looking pepper. One of the hottest ones in the world. Look at the bubbly skin, the way it looks like it's just melting. Some uh, scorpions and reapers have that look. Really gnarly, vicious, evil look. This is a chocolate variant of the Red Apocalypse Scorpion, which is originally created in Italy. That's where it comes from. Some people call this the Reaper Killer. I'm excited. Let's cut right down the middle. This bad boy, see how it looks. You guys know anything about me? I love chocolate pods. I love the smell of a chocolate pod. Especially because it's kind of earthy. And this one does smell earthy. This one actually does smell like a, a, a chocolate bootla. I do smell some scorpion. It's got the thick walls of that placenta. That is a thick pepper. Thick walled pepper. Oh, wow. This smell is... Oh, it's very pungent. It's unbelievable. I can smell it right now. I mean, this far away. It's right in my face. And without further ado, bring the pain. It has the um, earthy chocolate bootleg flavor. I don't know why. I couldn't find what the cross is for this pepper online, unfortunately. I was trying to find it. Maybe there is bootla in this. I don't know. But it tastes similar to a, to a chocolate bootla. Actually. Hmm. Talks about immediate heat. I am feeling some heat. Good flavor though. Why do I prolong this torture? I don't know. But I am. Why not, right? Heat is building. It does feel like a bootle burn. <clears throat> Here it comes. Really hot. Starting to build up around my lips. Inside my mouth. Crazy. Mm. I'll tell you right now. Once 
one thing is for certain, so happy this is not a floral pod. The heat is coming on. Um, not quite like a bootla, but it's pretty hot. Just radiating <clears throat> right past my lips. Don't want to swallow the wrong way. Won't be able to talk. Here's the hottest part. Oh, that's a little floral. Mmm. <clears throat> mm. There's the heat. Oh, brutal. Oh, wow. Oh, crazy. That is so hot. Oh, it's radiating over the roof of my mouth, over my tongue. It's not hitting the back of my throat. But it's hot. I would say at this point it's about well right now anyway it's start it's building it's getting hotter oh is it ever getting hotter oh yes it is it uh, it's about three times as hot as the one yesterday the Jay's peach gold scorpion which is surprising three quarters as hot not three times as hot carry on Oh, woo! Oh, one second. Oh. Excuse me, I'll blow my nose. Now I can see why they call it the Reaper Killer. Oh, look at my eyes. I never hide it in my eyes, you know? They always water. It always shows in my eyes. My eyes never lie. <sighs> I'd say with this pepper, it's a solid seven. <sighs> it's pretty hot. Oh, amazing. I love the flavor, though. I'll tell you more about that, too, as, uh, oh, as it gets hotter. Oh, it's building. Insane. I love <clears throat> a chocolate pod that has that kind of earthy flavor. That's why I love the Bootla so much. But I'll tell you what. The Bootla is, well, as hot as the one seemed yesterday. Jay's Peach Go Scorpion. It's trying to get hotter though. <clears throat> Maybe I should shut up. It's like, oh yeah, I'm not hot enough. Well, here you go. <clears throat> it's getting hotter. Woo! Wow. Oh, it's a beast of a pepper. A beast. I would say uh, what you could put it in. You could put it in, you know, just about anything. Make a sauce out of that. But to really, really enjoy it. Get the full effect. Eat it like I do. Cut it in half and just eat it. <clears throat> Pain is temporary. Heat is temporary. It's about to go away. I can feel it down on the down slope now. It's going down. But wow, what what a what a punch of heat, guys. That's insane. Oh, one more time. <laughs> oh. I can feel um, a bit of that pain in my throat now, though. 
it has moved back there. <clears throat> Nico, you got some hot peppers, brother. That, that is crazy. Woo! And that one's a builder. Um, <clears throat> a creeper. It, it definitely does rival the heat of the reaper. Moving all around my um, my mouth, roof of my mouth, my tongue. Windshield is fogging up. <clears throat> Still crying. I'm red. Forehead is sweating. If that doesn't tell you how hot the pepper is, I don't know what will. Huh? Oh, it's, it's insane. All right, guys. <clears throat> Tune in tomorrow. Or the next day. Hopefully tomorrow. Where I'll be doing this guy. This guy's seven pot bubblegum yellow. I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. This is crossed though between the seven pot um, yellow and a Trinidad Maroon of Scorpion. Two of the hottest peppers in the world, so you know this is going to be a killer. Look at the characteristics of it. <clears throat> characteristics of a seven pot yellow. If I'm going to go into it, I may as well eat it, right? No, I'm not. I'll do it tomorrow. Is It's round and yellow like that. And then here's pretty much the scorpion characteristics. All right, tune in tomorrow, guys. I'm Alan Denny. Always, thanks for watching. And always remember to stay hungry for heat.